So that should be enough. Hey babe. Yo. I thought we said we're not gonna hire a boat again. Oi. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't need to listen to what we say. We've hired another boat, everyone. <laughs> After our trip to Little Crystal Creek in our last episode, we visited the small town of Lucinda, a place where keen fishermen go and were invited to stay with these legends, Lee and Denny, who we met through Instagram. We hired one of their boats and headed straight to the end of the longest service jetty in the Southern Hemisphere for a flick into the Coral Sea. The jetty is nearly six kilometers long and curves with earth. Antonio said we aren't leaving North Queensland until we catch a Spanish mackerel and since it's well known for there to be a variety of pelagic species onto the jetty, we couldn't miss the opportunity. Adjacent to the jetty is one of Australia's largest national parks and was once home to the Banjin Aboriginal people, Hitchinbrook Island. We'll share more on our time exploring Hitchinbrook Island in our next episode, and we'll leave the details to Lee and Denny's boat hire company in the description below. First drop. First drop, babe. Don't disappoint us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you on? Yep. Ooh. It's only real little, whatever it is. Little? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. he's waking up a bit. Ooh, what is it? Little oh, mackerel. Oh, little mackerel. Oh, he's been chopped off. See? See him on that side? Oh. See him? Right. Yeah. Right. Poor fish, he has been chomped up. Look at his teeth, that's unreal. Careful. See you, mate. Woo. Oh. Second cast, that's looking good. That's looking promising. Let's go again. Go again. It's a little bit of a dull day today. The clouds are out, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's Hinchinbrook Island just behind me. Cool to hopefully get out there. I know there's like a whole heap of hiking trails and um, waterfalls and stuff out there. So, see how we go. Hey. <laughs> Can you see it? No news? I'm way having a fish. Way having a fish? Yeah, I am. <laughs> So we just moved a bit further down the jetty, a um, little bit deeper water. Looks like there might be some fish here. Maybe. Let's go first drop. Shiny down. Nice work, kids. Come on, babe, hook up. Boom. Yeah, oh, oh, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, <laughs> come on. Tony's on. First draw. You can bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, come on. No, not yet. To GT. GT? Yeah. Woohoo! Yes! Come on. Oi! <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, GT. You! Oh, it's nice! That's so cool, dude, here. It's still a GT, it doesn't look that big. It's not, like it's not a giant GT, but it's a GT. Oh, how good is that? Good fish. Yeah, man. Can we keep Oh, they're sharp. Oh, here's a glove. 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 Put him in the water to keep him alive. Yeah. Hold it up with two hands. Yeah, can we keep the GTs? No, we won't keep the GT, buddy. Yeah, put him in. Yes, there's our GT. My first ever GT. Nice. So stoked, man. All right. See you, buddy. I think we're moving on to a new spot. The Pelagics have shut down. They're probably scared of Antonio's new gloves. I reckon they are, man. 
Look at those that things. That, that GT would have been like, oh, that guy up there has got gloves, yeah. man. You shouldn't, don't, don't even, don't do it. He's wearing gloves. It's not worth it. <laughs> You're just going to grab you by your, ta your tail and manhandle you. <laughs> quick mango break. It's a quick one. <laughs> the fish are shut down, so Shani's now feeding. Shani's now playing up. She's hot. Bites on the Shani. She's got mangoes. Go for a bit of a scoot scoot around this jetty. See if we can't find some more fish. Whoa. Maybe look for some bust ups. Whoa. Leo just built the whole lunchbox. Uh -uh. Oh, oh do you hear that? There's frogs out here, man. <laughs> Go, um, 14 meters. We're just drifting. Sound looks pretty good. Better stuff floating around. Oh, on, shiny on. Get it, babe. Get it, babe. You good? Big. Get it up, get it up. Phew. Let's go, babe. Come on, babe. What's that? It's there, what is it? GT. It's bigger than mine. Phew. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> GT on board. Oh, I did it. <laughs> nice, high five. Woo! Sick, man. Over the okay, my arms are dead now. Boom. Cool, man. <gasps> oh, man. That's sick, man. I did it. I was like, I'm not letting this fish go, especially after the wet Sundays. Chill, <sighs> chill. GT on board. GT on board. Dad. Chill, bro. What a good feeling. My arms are like, oh, man. Fifty-five centimeters. Let him go. Yeah. All right. See you, mate. Big release. Put. Woo! Oh man, I'm such a little scary cat. I can't even get a photo with the fish when it's alive. I don't know. <laughs> I, have, I have to go some balls or something. Mom, I want yeah. a big fish and I wasn't as scared. Yeah, you did. You, you were very brave. I'll overcome that fear soon, but that's fun as. <sighs> Wet. wet. I think oh, I'm bloody wind, man. I'm super stoked to cut carb, but then I am super stoked to have caught that GT, and Shani has broken the curse of dropping every fish he hooks up to. Yeah. Which is a win. We might even go out tomorrow. We don't know. See so how we go. Sleeping. Yeah. For now, we're gonna head back to the van. I'm dying of thirst. Do we have beer in the car? Possibly. I think we have beer in the car. You guys still? Flicking. Crackles to catch a fish, I'm just trying to get him on. Yes, on. Whoa. What was that? I think that was flatty. No, that was a mangrove jack, man. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Oh. The weather was looking prime early the next morning, so the boys launched the boat and headed straight out to the jetty. You on? Yeah. Yes. Golden. Oh, nice. Just a bit of go on him. Yes. Excellent. Check that out, man. There you go. There he is, eh? He's sort of golden. Solid, man. Get him back in the water, eh? Yeah, mate. Woo! Nice one. Your uh, turn next. Yeah, sweet. Yes. On! Woo! Check out some weight about him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, he's giving you a bit of curry. Yeah, she's Good. big, whatever this is. Good fish. Good fish. Spread it, I think. And I busted me off. Oh, oh man. Oh. So there it is, my leader. That's 80 pound fluorocarbon. It's unbelievable. Far out. Oh! Sorry. It's clogged. Tonya just got some ice cream. We're so cooked after being out on the boat all day. Honestly, yeah, it's I'm like proper roasted man. First day of summer and it got us good. <laughs> yeah, it did. We didn't catch any fish we could eat today either. But lucky enough that Danny and Lee had some fish for us. I'll show you actually. I'll grab it. Spanish mac and some nanny guy. So these guys are keen fishers as well, and this is from their last trip out. So we're stoked. We got loads of fish. Yeah, so we'll eat that. Um, yeah, if the weather's not looking too good tomorrow, we're probably going to go head out to Wallerman Falls. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, keep you guys updated. I'm going to enjoy this ice cream. <laughs> Leo, did you have your ice cream? Where'd it go? It's gone. It's gone. What, what happened, man? He ate it all. You're so innocent, besides all the trouble all over your face. <laughs> so, no boating today. Wind was way too high, but we are doing something else that's pretty cool. We're going to check out Wallaman Falls. It's about an hour away from Lucinda, and it is the highest single falling, single drop waterfall in australia man that is so powerful hey like even just walking up to this lookout you can just hear the waterfall and then you get here and you just feel so tiny compared to it it's actually amazing we literally made it <laughs> <laughs> there's the car park just up there now leo wants a cuddle and now leo's asked for a cuddle and he's trying to stick the bottle down my boots Nice, Leo. Bloody hell, Leo. <laughs> so Leo's woken up now. Hey, Leo. So have I. I went to sleep too. I think Shani did as well. I think Brax was the only one awake because there's about a litre of the chocolate milk we bought missing. <laughs> but, anywho, we are hiking it down. We're doing it. 4K's return with a tired little family. Hopefully we don't die. If we do, then this will be our last episode, guys. Peace. <laughs> Wallaman Falls is situated in Gurungan National Park and is part of the traditional lands of the Warragamayagan Aboriginal people. Stony Creek, which is a tributary of Herbert River Valley, is said to flow all year round, which allows Wallaman Falls to be a permanent waterfall with a sheer drop of 268 metres. As impressive as the falls are, the journey to get there through lush World Heritage Rainforest was just as amazing. What's even more impressive is that we got to get through the whole hike without one of our boys complaining or crying. So we're getting better at this hiking thing. Close now, you can see it and hear it so loud. It honestly is so impressive. Like, there's nothing like it. Check it out, man. I'm so excited. So we're at a point now in the walk where it honestly just looks ridiculous. Like, you look up past the trees, all you can see is a massive cliff face. Give you guys a look. So we're just hiking, 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 bring you to that 35 mil. Oh yeah. Look up. Huge cliff face. And that wraps all the way around. It creates a big gorge and it is massive, man. It's oh. I don't even have a feel, I don't even have a word for the feeling it gives you. Unreal.
Oh, nice. Now your smile, your best smile. Cheese. 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 Oh, good boy. Yeah. Our time at Wallaman Falls is done. Getting Leo's shoes back on, and we're going to make the steam back up that massive hill because I reckon it's going to take us about an hour and a half or two hours and we'll be out of daylight by then. But man, honestly, unbelievably cool spot. Like, oh. <laughs> thanks Leo. <laughs> Not super family friendly for swimming. There's just like super slippy rocks everywhere, but it was still awesome to just come down and just see the waterfall from this perspective. Thanks Leo. It was a really, really, really cool experience. Give me a thumbs up. But, <laughs> No filming from us on the way up, it's going to be purely survival. <laughs> there yep. Go. So, I'll probably see you guys back at the car or for dinner or something. Oh. G'day, big fella. Cow. That's a ball. Cow. He's got big balls. Cow. Yeah. That's a bull, Leo. So guys, we made it back to the car safe. We didn't die, don't send help, we're all good. We're <laughs> just driving back to Lucinda now, and I am like wet and dripping in sweat. Oh, so uncomfortable. So sticky, it's disgusting. But we're that lazy, we even, um, if you can see it's dark, we went and bought a pizza. There's dinner sorted. Dinner sorted from what? Five bucks, mate, sometimes. You gotta do what you gotta do. What else? Is that it? Isn't it? Are we pretty well done for today? Oh yeah. We're done for today. Alright. Alright. That so, wraps up today, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. But we're not gonna finish this episode yet. We're moving tomorrow, so I guess we'll show you where we're moving to and I don't we know. We would tell you now, but we don't we'll, know. Yeah, we don't actually know where we're gonna be moving. <laughs> So the reason why these little trains out here in the middle of nowhere is because that's how they transport their the sugar, the cut sugar. So they use the trains, there's two train tracks all over the place that go from like farm to farm and that's how they get all the sugar loaded up and out of the mill for processing. Look at the mangoes. Look at them. Which one do you reckon? There's just so many to pick, hey? They're really big, hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a few good ones over there. A couple good ones over here. And double whammy. Whoa. One of them. There you go. There you go. So these guys aren't ripe just yet. Oh, it smells good, but Do they? yeah, but because they started to blemish or like blush or whatever you call it on the top there, and they're nice and round, they should be good to go in a few days if we just leave them in the van. That one, no, mommy. That one. What are they? See? Mango. See? Put them inside <laughs> Toosie guys, we're about to head off from um, Danny and Lee's place. It's been real nice staying here with the guys, honestly. Like, so thankful and grateful to meet people <laughs> like this. It was awesome, man. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, no worries. Right. Right. See you later. Thanks. Take it easy. <laughs> Keep on. See you later. Thank you so much. No man. worries. Thank you. Guys are legends. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome to meet you guys. So. Yeah. We could. So we've just gotten to Murray Falls. It's actually a national park campground, so it's like $6 per person per night. They have little fire pits and everything as well, but it's really, really cool. We're just swimming at the swimming hole, which is literally a five minute walk from where you camp. But yeah, Murray Falls is actually situated half an hour below Tully, and we drove about an hour and a half from Lucinda. But it is a really, really cool spot. I think it's up there with now one of my favorite swimming holes in North Queensland. Oh hey. Oh hey. But that's gonna wrap up this episode guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see us weekly, please subscribe and we'll see you next Monday. Monday. <laughs> see you. See you guys. Woo.
Ready? I'm gonna go down. You need to I'm going down. Get this. Up here. Up here. Whee! <laughs>